Hello people, today the topic is uh, types of Hodgkin lymphoma and types of Reed-Sternberg cells. Two things we will be covering. Types of Hodgkin lymphoma, types of Reed-Sternberg cells. Okay, so basically, do you know where we are? We are looking at Hodgkin lymphoma. Do you know what Hodgkin lymphoma and all is? In the previous video, we have covered the differences between Hodgkin lymphoma and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. These both are malignancies. Lymphoma is like uh, solid masses mostly inf involving the lymph node. Leukemia is involving the bone marrow blood. Then we saw that Hodgkin lymphoma was actually described by this person Hodgkin where he said that uh, Hodgkin lymphomas are local, more local. They have contiguous spread through the lymph nodes. They have better prognosis, right? Then we saw that they originate from B cells, B cells, B lymphocytes. Right, and uh, there will be some constitutional symptoms like the B cell symptoms. In Hodgkin disease, in the microscopy, owl's eye appearance, Reed Sternberg cell will be there. Okay, uh, this is the diagnosis of Hodgkin disease. One of the diagnostic parameters will be this Reed Sternberg cell. Okay, so there are uh, types of Hodgkin disease. That's what we want to look at in this uh, video. We will come to that. The prognosis of Hodgkin disease is much better than uh, non-Hodgkin lymphoma. We saw the clinical features of Hodgkin disease and we also saw the introduction to the staging of Hodgkin disease, the an arbor staging we have looked at in the previous video. So now we are moving on to the types of Hodgkin lymphoma guys. So there are four types, nodular sclerosis, mixed cellularity, lymphocyte rich, lymphocyte depletion, four types are there. Okay, How many types are there guys? How many types? Four types, yes. So what are the four types of Hodgkin lymphoma? Nodular sclerosis, a mixed cellularity, lymphocyte rich, lymphocyte depleted. Very good. So now these are the four classic types of uh, Hodgkin lymphoma. So nodular sclerosis is the most common type, okay. And uh, mixed cellularity follows next, lymphocyte rich and then lymphocyte depleted. Remember the prognosis is very good for lymphocyte rich or predominance, okay. So the prognosis is very good for this one. So which prognosis is the best? Lymphocyte rich. If there is more lymphocyte, the prognosis is good. Nodular sclerosis follows next. Nodular sclerosis has the next uh, best uh, prognosis, okay. The worst prognosis is in lymphocyte depleted. No lymphocytes, lymphocytes are less. The worst prognosis is in this case, okay. So lymphocyte, if they are less, then there will be poor prognosis. Look at the CD markers now. These RS cells, right, the Reed Sternberg cells, they will usually mark for CD15 and CD30. CD15 positive, CD30 positive will, will, they will be. However, in lymphocyte rich, CD20 it will be positive. CD15 and CD30 will be negative actually in that case. CD20 will be positive, okay. So that is something you have to note. It will be CD20 positive which is different in this case and 15 and 30 negative, okay. It's not just that CD20 is positive, the other two will be negative also, okay. So people, we are done with this table. Just see if you have understood everything in this table. What are the types of Hodgkin lymphoma? Under the classic, you have four types. So you have the nodular sclerosis, mixed cellularity, lymphocyte rich, lymphocyte depletion. Lymphocyte depletion has the worst prognosis. Lymphocyte rich has the best prognosis. Lymphocyte rich has CD20 positive. All others have CD15 and CD30 positive. Okay. So what will you see in the microscopy? All that we will come to. Okay. Now there is just one more type of uh, Hodgkin lymphoma marked here. Nodular lymphocyte predominant. Okay. In this lymphocyte predominant itself, they have separated it as nodular lymphocyte predominant. Okay. Under classic also there is lymphocyte predominant. And under nodular also lymphocyte predominant is there. No need to break your head too much into this. Okay. Just know that there is one nodular growth pattern. Lymphocyte rich, lymphocyte predominant. Okay. So, Reed Sternberg cell, we told you in diagnosis of Hodgkin lymphoma, in the lymph node, you can see a Reed Sternberg cell. Now, this Reed Sternberg cell, what is it? What are the types of Reed Sternberg cell? We have to look at now. Okay. So, it helps in the diagnosis of Hodgkin lymphoma. 
you will see it where in the lymph node these are neoplastic cells these are actually the tumor cells remember this is the reed sternberg cell the classic one which is seen in mixed cellularity type of hodgkin lymphoma here you can see owl's eye appearance basically there is a mirror image type of a thing if you put a line here it's a mirror image what are we looking at guys now reed sternberg cell correct what is reed sternberg cell it is the neoplastic cell in hodgkin's disease hodgkin's lymphoma very good what is the classic type of uh, reed sternberg cell this owl size appearance a bilobed nucleus with mirror image type yes very good <clears throat> so basically these are the real neoplastic cells in hodgkin's disease the uh, cells are actually very less in number okay you will see very few uh, reed sternberg cells unlike others where you see lot of tumor cells here actually the reed sternberg cell is the tumor cell but they are they are few in number okay they are less than 5% they are saying okay the immunophenotyping we already told you that uh, there will be uh, cd15 cd30 positive and in uh, lymphocyte rich it will be cd20 positive now the other thing they are saying is from where do these reed sternberg cell come they come from b cells okay so in the germinal center let's say this is the lymph node let's say this is the lymph node in that you have germinal centers in this germinal center from this germinal center the b cell will come right from there you will get the rs cell okay so from the germinal center the b cell from the b cell you will get the reed sternberg cell okay uh, just a warning here is that may, this type of rs cells like looking cells can be there in many other lymphomas also it can also be seen in infectious mononucleosis so you should take all other parameters also into consideration okay while while doing a diagnosis so this type of classic uh, reed sternberg cell this type of classic reed sternberg cell is seen in mixed cellularity type of hodgkin disease now let's move on to the next slide here guys this reed sternberg cell itself has so many types which are associated with individual types of hodgkin disease like mixed cellularity type of hodgkin disease has what rs cell classic rs cell this you already saw now so the other rs cells where are they present like the most common one that is the nodular sclerosis type of hodgkin disease has lacunar type of rs cell lacunar type of rs cell then the lymphocyte rich has what type of rs cell it has the polypoid type or popcorn type of rs cell we'll come to the details don't worry the lymphocyte depletion type has the pleomorphic reed sternberg cell okay guys so first let us start off with the classic rs cell more details about it so basically it is seen in which type of hodgkin disease in the mixed cellularity type of hodgkin disease so what will you see here so look at the diagram in detail so here classic rs cell is definitely marked other than that you have eosinophils histiocytes which are nothing but macrophages you have plasma cells you have lymphocytes and you have neutrophils so you have all types of cells so that is why it is called as what mixed cellularity type of hodgkin disease how did you decide it's hodgkin disease obviously you can see a reed sternberg cell in the lymph node right so basically the reed sternberg cell which is a large cell it is comprised of a bilobed nucleus so there are two lobes in the nucleus so it is a single nucleus only is it so it is a single nucleus it has bilobed nucleus and these this lobes appear as mirror images of each other okay and what about the nucleolus nucleolus is eosinophilic that is what you have to focus here the nucleus is nucleolus is eosinophilic right clear halo around it that's why it has a owl eye appearance remember it's a bilobed nucleus it's a single nucleus but it has bilobes okay then what about the other things you see here you see lot of uh, cells hypercellularity you am seeing necrosis okay so we're done with the classic uh, reed sternberg cell which is seen in the mixed cellularity type of hodgkin disease now let's move on to the nodular sclerosis type of hodgkin disease where you see the lacunar type of rs cell so in addition to the classic what else is there there is a pericellular space or lacuna in which this reed sternberg cell lies so you can see this is very clear that the reed sternberg cell is lying inside a perinucle pericellular space or lacuna okay <clears throat> here you can see lymphocytes here mixed cellularity you cannot see you can see only lymphocytes 
lot of collagen you can see, right? And you can see macrophage and obviously the lacunar RS cell. Then what else you can see here? Necrosis, you just write necrosis, don't forget everywhere you write necrosis, okay? Now nodular sclerosis type of Hodgkin disease is the most common type of Hodgkin disease, okay? So nothing much here. The artifactual shrinkage of cell cytoplasm happens, so it is looking like it's lying in the lacuna, okay? And the cell, it's actually cell cytoplasm has shrunk, okay? So this is the lacunar type guys, moving on. So you know in nodular sclerosis type, what it is? Lacunar type of Reed-Sternberg cell. In the mixed cellularity type of Hodgkin disease, it's the classic Reed-Sternberg cell. Now let's move on to the lymphocyte rich or the lymphocyte predominant type of Hodgkin disease. In this there are two, either it can be classic or it can be nodular. Nodular is completely different, they have categorized as. Diffuse form is nothing but the classic, there is diffuse proliferation of cells. So it should be lymphocyte rich, correct? So look at this, whether you feel that it is lymphocyte rich. Yes, so many lymphocytes are there, definitely it looks lymphocyte rich. And there is a polypoid type of Reed-Sternberg cell. You can see it's like a popcorn type, right? There is not just bilobed nucleus, it's like a multi-lobed nucleus, right? So basically here what you will see, twisted nucleus. No other types of cells are seen, only lymphocytes you will see. So this is a popcorn or a polypoid type of Reed-Sternberg cell. Then what else? Where do you see it? In lymphocyte predominance type of Hodgkin disease. There is lobulated nucleus in the shape of popcorn. In this itself you have two forms, you have the diffuse and the nodular. Diffuse becomes the classic type and nodular form becomes the nodular type of Hodgkin disease. That's all. Okay, moving on. Pleomorphic um, Reed-Sternberg cells, look at them first of all, what is so pleomorphic about them? Different, different types are there, Ple pleomorphic RS cells. So I think all of these are individually RS cells. Then you have lymphocyte depleted, only two lymphocytes I can see. So lymphocytes are depleted, remember this has the worst prognosis in Hodgkin disease, right? So basically the pleomorphic uh, Reed-Sternberg cells are a feature of what lymphocyte depletion type of uh, Hodgkin disease. What and all you see here, you see pleomorphic and atypical nuclei. There is again two variants here, diffuse variant and reticular variant, okay. Diffuse variant, you see less cells, this is nice, it is like a diffuse only, less cells are there. Reticular variant is more cellular, okay. So that was about the four types of uh, Hodgkin disease and the four types of Reed-Sternberg cells. You have learnt everything. Just take a recap what and all you have seen. Nodular sclerosis variety you will see lacunar type of Reed-Sternberg cell, mixed cellularic type of Hodgkin disease you will see classic Reed-Sternberg cell, lymphocyte predominant or lymphocyte rich Hodgkin disease you will see popcorn type of uh, Reed-Sternberg cell and in the lymphocyte depleted you will see the pleomorphic or pleomorphic Reed Sternberg cell. Okay. So this is popcorn. Okay. Popcorn means lymphocyte more. Remember and this has very good prognosis. Popcorn means very good prognosis. So we are done with the types of Hodgkin lymphoma and the types of Reed Sternberg cell. Just look at this table again. Nodular sclerosis. The RS cell will be lacunar type. What and all you will see there? Collagen bands. Don't forget collagen bands there. Mixed cellularity, you will see lot of types of cells. You will see the classic type of RS cell. In the lymphocyte rich, you will see the popcorn type of RS cell. Here you will see lot of lymphocytes. And in the lymphocyte depletion, very scanty lymphocytes will be there. And here you will have the pleomorphic type of RS cell. And it has the worst prognosis. That's all for now guys. I think you have understood everything regarding the types of Hodgkin disease and the type of Reed-Sternberg cells. We will meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.